caught it again. <laughs> Every time I turn around, that camera wants to go off on me. I'll get into the settings later on and find out why. I just... And by the way, the camera I'm using to film this today is the Canon SX60HS. Uh, it's probably the best camera that we own at the moment, so I'm trying to use that one. I do have a little JVC camcorder. Uh, I haven't had a chance to really see what the video quality is on it. It's been years since I used it, so I didn't want to really trust it today with this. Although, in hindsight, I probably should have because this thing keeps shutting off on me. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to use number 44. It's going to be four of the... Oh, these plastic standoffs keep everything from getting grounded out okay let's go ahead and get this put on so what we're going to do is we're going to take a screw with a washer on it and place it through oh wow do i need wow why do we need nuts why didn't i just screw it in Hmm, I see why. So what they want you to do is they want you to just take and screw in. Wow, that's weird. They're going to have the board that far down from the fan. That's going to change. Because everything I've ever read on most of these printers, it says that the ramps get hot when you're printing. And I can't see that little tiny, what is it, a 40 millimeter fan? It doesn't say. I, I believe it's like a 40 millimeter fan. It's a little tiny thing. It might even be smaller than that. I don't know. I didn't measure it. Anyway, um, everything I read says that these ramps get hot. I don't know on this particular printer if they do or not. But uh, I would just rather not take that chance. Let's make sure that I'm, I know it's going to the other side there. Oh, one hole up. I'd have preferred to use the holes up there, but the fan, yeah, you can't even see it. You can't really see it. The fan is right where that hole is. It's right there up at it. So I can't use that hole. Okay. I'm very happy that they supplied this little screwdriver set up with the, all the tips. That makes it a lot easier than trying to deal with Allen wrenches all the way through this thing. If I did it again though, I would definitely get some longer tips or something than use my little drill. <laughs> kind of save some time on it. Okay, so now we're going to place the standoffs on the back here. I'm going to take my circuit board. Like I said, I'm going to use it with a USB port facing out. That's going to be right on there like that. And washers. It doesn't say to use washers on the back side here. So I'm just going to go ahead and go with a bare nut. Imagine it has to do with possibly ground. Let's see. Nope, it's all insulated, so it's, it doesn't matter the, the washers would actually cause it to hit parts, so. Later on, I'll take a little nut driver or something, and I'll screw those on there better. I wonder. No, rats. I know I can't use that uh, adjustable end wrench. It won't work with that. Oh, and how nice of them. This one right here is so tight. 
the nut won't even fit on there. So I am not even going to worry about it. It's not like the circuit board is a very heavy piece anyway. So I'll, uh, maybe I can do that. Let's see. Let's give it a slight. No. Yeah. It's funny when you're trying to play with a camera, the angles you try to do things at. <laughs> I'm happy with that. I'll deal with that later and use a, another old piece to try doing that. Okay, so we have our board in place. It says, attention, the four stepper motor driver board is plugged into the board before shipping. Spacer should be used. We already did that. Okay, so now we're going to do the x-axis. So, what we're going to need are... Number 15, we're going to need these two brackets here, we're going to need number 35, which it has listed as 20, or no, yeah, it's got set, right, never mind, so number 35, number 26, we need one screw. Now I know why we need the long one over here. That's for one of our end stops. Number 18. 18. Yep, oh, they're on the side. Never mind. We're going to need eight of those. So we got four. We got eight. <clears throat> Number seven, got those covered already. Not worried about that. And then one of the springs. And I believe I put that back over on this side. Maybe not. Yeah, there it is. Number 32, spring. Just need one. Okay, so it says mount the end stop trigger, thread the M3 washer spring da, 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 through that. Okay, so this is the side where the stepper motor is going to be. So what we're supposed to do, if I remember from the video correctly, take one of these, pop a washer on it, put it down through the spring, and then it feeds through this right here. And what this is going to do, once I can get down here where I can grab hold of the other side of my finger, um, as, once again, I, it's the x-axis. Once it lowers there's going to be an end stop over here. It's going to be a switch that this is going to poke against, and that's going to tell it where zero is, which is completely adjustable because you just the the screw on height, and the, so if it's going down too far, you lengthen it, and then that makes it stop sooner. Okay, so we have that in place. Up into the screw. Still talking about putting that screw in. Oh, good pictures. That's what I need. <laughs> I don't rely on instructions as much as I do pictures. <laughs> okay, so let's take those two out. So the collar is going to face up in, into that, the taller collar. And then, I, guess I believe it is, yeah. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take these little screws here. Let's see how many of those washers. I only call for two washers, so I guess I don't have to worry about washers with these. That's fine. Uh, let's see, is that the right? 
yeah, that's right bit. So very well built printer. I like it. The more I work on this thing, the more I like it because it just seems solid. Yeah, there's some of the issues with the screws not quite being bagged right, but for the most part, I really like it. Okay, so the next thing is going to be one of the bearings. Oh, wow, it's got little tiny balls. Yeah, I don't know if you can see them in there. Little tiny balls in there every so often. So I'm going to definitely be lubing that thing up. Give them the best opportunity I can to, to work. Okay, so apparently it's just got me assembling this one side at the moment. I'm not using more screws than this, apparently. Okay. So then, just a wild hunch. We're going to end up putting one of these motors on it. Let me just go ahead and pull this wire for now. Okay. So it looks like in the picture it's going to be facing upright on this for the wiring harness. So set that there for the moment. What I need is my little pulley. Now this one is inverted compared to the last one. So instead of being this direction, we're going to put it on this direction. And I'll fine tune the position later, but I just want to get it on there for the moment. Let's see, is that the right one? Yeah, I just did that for now. Yeah, that'll work. Okay, so it says I need three number 18. I remember I thought it was 18 if I remember right. Yes, it was. So I'm just going to use the two that were left over, which I could have swore I counted it out right. anything about a washer so just go straight on to it like so Sight, I would probably put the motor on first and then put that screw through. Of course, if you're doing this along with me at the moment, you just made the same mistake I did, so <laughs> I don't feel so bad. <laughs> okay, and that's looking right. Mount the end stop. So, end stop, it's going to be in your number 46 bag. And we have three end stops that's going to be on this machine. So at the moment, I'm just going to go ahead and take them all out of the bags and get rid of the bag so I can feel better about myself. 
And we have black wires, we have red wires, and we got blue wires. So which ones would it like me to use? Or does it even say? Okay, so we're going to need number 17 screws. We're going to need two of them. There we go. And let's see if it tells us which end stop to use. Oh, it just shows me one without any wires. Okay, so what color would we like to put coming out the top of this for this unit? Because it's going to screw on the top here. Let's go ahead and go with the black one, huh? Make it look pretty. Just kidding. Yeah, that'll work. Okay, so now we feed these screws through that end stop according to the picture and according to the video. While it's sitting like this, we want the end of the end stop to be facing toward us, toward the front. And different size. Surprise, surprise.